Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. We're back to do the third video on the Balancing Scales series. Again, Balancing Scales, it's a way to introduce algebraic equation to students, usually in the fifth and sixth grade. The idea is that what you're, what you're saying is that these values, whatever this is, is equal to this right here. And so we're taking something very concrete, like a balancing scale and values on a scale, and we're turning it into an algebraic uh, expression, like t plus 2b is equal to uh, 3c. What we've done, again, is we've been working on all three videos, taking the concrete and turning it into an algebraic expression. Now, I, I want you to solve for t right away. t, so how would you do that? You'd minus 2b on both sides. Minus 2b. And you would get t, every time you see a triangle, it's equal to three circles minus 2b. Now why did I do that? I didn't, I kind of jumped into this one. We're doing three, three variable equations. And usually the question asks something like how many circles or how many squares, you know, how many circles equal a square or how many squares equal a circle. Usually it's, it's only referring to two of them. So I see in my questions here, I see that it's referring to circles and squares. So I want to find a way very quickly to get the t's out of the picture, so to speak. Well, how would I do that? Well, the equation for this one is t plus a circle, so we'll say t plus c, is equal to 6b. What I'm going to do is, every time I see t, I just found a value for t. It's equal, it's t, every time I see t, it's equal to 3c minus b. And since 3c minus b is another way of expressing t, and I want to get rid of my t's, I'm going to substitute that now for t. So, I could do that a bunch of different ways. I could switch them, or I could just rewrite the equation. So that would look something like this. Let's use another color. It would look like... 3c minus 2b plus c is equal to 6b. If I added my, combine my like terms, I would get 4c uh, minus 2b is equal to 6b. And then I would, you know, add, not minus, but add, because it's a minus b already. I would add 2b to this side, add 2b to this side, and what I would get is 4c equals 8b. And then at this point, yes. I could solve, I could divide by 4, and I would get C, after dividing each side by 4, is equal to 2B. I think when I wrote this, I wrote the question wrong. I said, how many circles equal a square? It should really be, how many squares equal a circle? Okay, now let's look at another problem. We have a balancing scale, so we have some um, values here that when I add them up are going to equal these values here. Now, this is, this would, if I wrote out the equation, I could do it uh, algebraically. It'd be pretty long and pretty tedious. But let's do it the easiest way possible, okay? The fastest way. Doing a combination of algebra and a combination of sixth grade mathematics. Which means do it as fast as you can, as fast as possible. So in this case, what we're going to do is, just like using the scale model, if I take this off, I can take this off, correct? Well, what if I take all of the circles off here? That's the same as subtracting three here. I could subtract two triangles or two pyramids here. That would be like subtracting these two pyramids here. I could subtract all three squares from this side and subtract all three squares from this side. What would I get? Well, I would get one square, one B, is equal, remember there's an equal sign, it's equal to three, two, C plus 
2t. How does that help me? Well, watch this. Watch when I go to the next equation. Because remember, in these harder level with three variable problems, you need at least you need two equations to help you solve it. Oh, I don't I don't want to lose that that piece of the, the equation though. I want to keep it up there so we can refer back to it in just a moment. Okay, there we go. Well, we just said before that every time I see a box, it's equal to this, correct? All right, I just want to make sure we said that. Now, I, going back to the sixth grade strategy, I, take a, I subtract a circle from here, I subtract a circle from here. Fair enough. I got a box equals four triangles plus a circle. But the box, remember, that box is actually equal to 2C plus 2t. And that gets me to 4t plus c. Alright, well, I'm going to combine like terms, meaning I take the smallest t and I subtract it from here, crossing that out, and I canceling it out, and minus the t from here, and then I take my c's, take the smallest c, subtract it here, subtract it here, what I get is, after canceling out these values, what I get is that C is equal to 2T. Now, how does this help me? Ah, well, you know how we took this value of this, the B here? We found out that B, one block, is equal to this. And then we took this and we input it into this equation. Well, guess what? We're going to take this value and we're going to input it into the first equation. Now watch what happens. You know, you just found out that C is equal to 2T. So every time you see 2T, it's equal to C. And I see, no pun intended, a 2T here, which means that this is actually equal to C. Does everyone see that? Make sure you see that. Because now I can get to this equation. B is equal to 2C plus C. Or another way of saying it is B is equal to three circles. Okay, team, I hope you found these videos helpful.